Tom Payne. Now, Tom Payne, of course, is now known quite a bit in the Tea Party movement. You know, people who dress up as revolutionaries and put a hat on it. They quote Tom Payne, Common Sense, which is a wonderful book called American People, the Revolution. I, I hope you all know about Tom Payne. I know you do because because you're such smart folks. But, but in, on the outside chance that somebody's like me who, when you say, I hope you know about it, they don't raise their hand and say, I don't. Um, I'll just let you know, Tom Payne was an Englishman. We forgive him that. And... He arrived in America in 1774. He had been chased out of England for trying to organize a union of tax collectors. Can you imagine a less popular trade union? <laughs> and so he's got to unionize tax collectors. And they said, no, you get out of here. You know, you leave. He had also had you know, like some marital problems and a lot of other challenges. And so it was just agreed that he ought to get out of England. So he went where you know, any rebel troublemaker would go. He came to America. And he got terribly sick on the ship. So here was a guy being chased out of his own country arriving without proper paperwork, sick as a dog, you know, fiercely ill. They carried him in a stretcher off the boat and drunk, dumped him in a rooming house, right? A welcome immigrant. And so Tom Paine, within a year of when he was dumped into that rooming house, was writing essays calling the American people the revolution against the king, right? And wrote Common Sense, said we have the, within our power to begin the world over again, to begin the world anew. And heroic figure called us to revolution. Then he wrote wonderful books after that. But what people forget is that Tom Paine kept writing. Kept writing throughout his lifetime. And the last book he wrote was saying, you know, now we've had our revolutions. we put our constitution in place in the U.S. and in France and in other places. Now we have to figure out how a civil society might function. And what Tom Paine says is, well, one thing you can't have, if you're going to have any kind of democracy, if you're going to have any kind of functional society, you can't have a massive gap between rich and poor. You can't have incredibly wealthy people who own all the land and have all the property and then have people who are born in abject poverty because then if you did that, you'd end up in a situation where some people would be able to influence the politics of the country <coughs> through their wealth, through their privilege, rather than through their good ideas. And so what Tom Paine proposed was that when you turn 21, you would get a guaranteed income from the government. The government would give you a, a small amount of money, not a fortune. Tom Paine was not proposing that the government just bail everybody out, take care of everybody. He said, you're going to get a stake to begin with and to start a business, to buy a farm, to be an equal part of society economically as well as democratically. Because he believed that this was how you could make a fully functioning society. He said also, though, at some point along the way, somebody might get sick. So we have to have a health care system in this country that guarantees care to those who become sick. And of course, when you're sick, you don't have the money to pay. And so in this case, you're going to have to have some sort of governmental program or some sort of intervention to make sure that people have health care. And then Tom Payne said, and then when you get too old to work, well, you're going to need something to get by. And maybe your family can't support you. Maybe you don't even have a family. And so we need to have some sort of social security system. If you go on the social security system's website, you will find, even to this day, a reference to Tom Payne as the guy who came up with the idea. And here's the interesting thing. He had a very novel notion for how you would pay for this. Tax the rich. <laughs> wasn't hard. wasn't complicated. He just said, you know, if you've got a lot of land, you can't farm at all, we're going to have to have, you know, we're going to tax you a little bit on this. We're going to move that.